there and welcome to my channel. I normally do food reviews, but today, as usual, I haven't done food reviews in a while. And this is now the fourth time I have tried to make a video over my issue today with the optometrist. I tried it first in the car and I had to turn off the air conditioner because you couldn't hear me. I know because I tried it before. Then I was burning up, then my, then my phone died. And since then, I had nothing but issues. But like, whoever's watching this, you don't, I don't think anyone realizes how important my, this channel is to me and the viewers, just everything, okay? Cause like, yeah, this is like my fourth attempt now. And then the video stops like after 15 minutes. So if you wanna know about my mental health, you can look at videos. Yes, I'm doing a little bit better today. I'll make another video on that. Um, and I have good news as far as the food is concerned. I did spend quite a bit of money on groceries today and I got some interesting food that I'm going to start reviewing hopefully in a few days because my stomach is finally feeling better and I'm finally eating again because I've lost quite a bit of weight. I don't know if you've noticed, but yeah. So about a month ago, I had a, I went to the optometrist to get my eyes checked for contacts and glasses because now I have insurance that pays for vision. And I didn't use it last year and I should have. I have not been to this optical place in like four years and either way they see me as a new patient. And the guy who runs it has retired. So I go there about a month ago and I see this, this, this female, I can't remember her name, but she's cool, right? And uh, she takes my vision and she was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put you in these contact lenses. You can pick them up on the way out and uh, let us know how they work out. Now, normally they put them, they have you put them in your eyes. They watch you to make sure you're doing them right. Unless you've worn contact lenses for a while. But the thing is, they're supposed to ask you to blink and look around and check your eyes with the contact lenses in. They, she didn't do that. She didn't do that. Which is not a big deal. So I go home. I try them for about a week. Got issues. I ain't going to get into the issues because that's neither here nor there because I'm trying to get to the point. So I call it and I was like, I got issues with these dry eyes, whatever. So they're like, well, she wants you to put you in these ones. They say the brand. I'm like, okay. And they're like, but we don't have them in stock and it's going to take a while. So it took almost, it took two and a half, almost three weeks to get these in. Now with this optometrist, if I see the optometrist today, but it takes like three months to finally get the right pair of lenses, then they start charging you for going back to see them now keep mind I only seen her once so um when she said it's going to take a while and then when i found out and i picked him up that day i was like three and a half weeks i was like is this going to count against me because of that time thing she's like well we don't want you lollygagging around like we need to know like you need to tell us this doesn't work this doesn't work whatever she's like but that doesn't go against you because that's not your fault for three and a half weeks we haven't heard from you because you don't have any new lenses to try you only tried one pair and it didn't work this is your second so I'll try the second, have issues, get into the details. Maybe I will at the end. So I call up again. I'm like, I'm really sorry to say this again, but instead of ordering these, I got issues. Um, so they're like, well, it's probably better that you come in. I like, go, okay. And, uh, see the doctor. So my appointment was today at 1:20. I showed up at 1:10, and, um, the place was dead. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. They finally put me in the room and I wait and wait and wait. Finally, this girl comes in and she starts checking my eyes. But she asked me a bunch of questions that like, I'm like, is she the doctor? I'm like, are you the doctor? She's like, oh no, he's coming in still. I'm like, he? I was like, whatever happened to the doctor, the female? She's like, I don't know. And then she just like, she says a couple other stuff and then she asks me questions and she leaves. So I'm here in the male doctor, the optometrist that's, that's male that I'm seeing, right? I hear him in the other room and he's chit-chatting. He's laughing. It's not like he's flirting with this woman. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And like, I'm looking at the time. I'm like, let's look at the time. 20 minutes. Like they were already done with the, with whatever she needed. They literally talked for 20 minutes after. It le actually more than that. Because when I heard them chit-chat and I'm like, Listen to listen in. Are they gonna say anything about eyes for 20 minutes after that? They just talked about whatever and then they she left so he came in right away I could tell he had a rush on his face. You could tell when doctors have a rush right away. He comes in 
and he sits down. He was dressed kind of cool, though. It was kind of like steampunk, but without the extreme of steampunk. But like that era of time that steampunk's trying to be without the cool added steampunk. So, um, I wanted to say, let me, let me take a Tylenol. My back is killing me. Before I forget, do I seem manic to you? Because my friend is concerned about me. Uh, why is it so bright? I don't know if I'm manic or what. So, um, I might leave that for later. Or I'm going to do another video on that. Because it's important to me. Your insight's important. I told you earlier on the video, I think I did, that like you mean a lot to me. My viewers, my subscribers. And so, um, so he, he comes in there and he sits down and he was like, he pulls up a record. A record. I don't even know if it's mine or not. I thought it was mine. But then when he started opening up his mouth, I'm like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Is he on something? Because if he's on something like, <laughs> it ain't some good stuff for him. He was like, yeah, well, so you're back in here again, as if I've already been here like 10 times. He's like, yeah, it seems like you've tried a lot of them already, a lot of contacts. And he's like going through this list on the computer and I'm like, huh? And then uh, he was like, yeah, I remember you. And I'm like, I don't believe the same freaking number is calling me again to ask me if I want male enhancement products. They either call with this number, which I need to block. I, I don't believe that. I just got a phone call by, from some male enhancement thing. That's what stopped the video last time, and I had to start all over again. But they're smart. They've been calling, showing up as my, my hospital. But this time they're calling from the original number that they started calling from. And I told them to put me on the do not call list and they're still call, to calling me. Like, constantly. Um. So, so he's like, telling me, he's like, yeah, you tried this one, this one, I remember you and stuff. And I'm like, huh? And I was like, do I tell him that he didn't know what he's talking about? Because you know as well as I do, doctors don't like when you go over their head or you put them in their place where they feel like you know better than them and you have more knowledge than them. They want to feel like, hey, I've been to the college. You haven't. Not every doctor is like that. But unfortunately, a lot of them are. So I'm like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I've never seen him before. And I haven't tried these contact lenses. And I don't even think that that is my uh, thing. So um, he was like, so you've tried several of the um, Bausch & Lomb. He's like, we just tried you another pair of Bausch and Lomb. I'm like, no. I'm like, sir, I was like, I was like, can I say something for a minute? And he's like, yeah, what's up? Like right away, he's like, yeah, what's up? Like that. Like, I'm like, whoa. Like, I mean, I know I'm like a little bit crazy. I seem like crazy, but like, I'm like, sir, I was like, with all due respect, I don't remember ever seeing you. You don't remember me? I'm like, sir, I've never seen you in my life. I was like, and all these contact lenses, I was like, those two boxes are the only one. He's like, I think you're sadly mistaken. I'm like, no. I was like, he was like, yeah, I remember we tried you in this one, this one. And I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm thinking, I should have asked him, is that even my record? I'm like, sir, the two boxes that you see next to you. I was like, first I tried the Bausch and Lomb. Then I tried this other brand by, um, and I said the name of the brand. I did. I think it's Alcon. No, it's not Alcon. I said the brand. I said um, Cooper Vision. I said, I tried Cooper Vision. He's, he's like, you mean Bausch and Lomb? I'm like, no, sir. I was like, these are Cooper Vision. Like, I'm not an optometrist, and I'm telling you that this is Cooper Vision. He's like, these are, these are um, Bausch and Lomb. I'm like, no, sir. I was like, I tried the Bausch and Lomb. He's like, right, they're both Bausch and Lomb. I'm like, no. I was like, this is Cooper Vision. He was like, you're selling mistaken. I'm like, well, it says Cooper Vision right there. I was like, and I'm not trying to be rude, but I've never seen you before. Like, but I'm saying the nicest way possible. And he like looks at me like, like I'm crazy. I'm like, sir, I was like, look up my record. I was like, I saw a gentleman here. He's like, yeah, that was me. I was like, no. I was like, I saw a gentleman like years ago. He said, I haven't even been working here that long. I was like, listen to what I'm saying. I saw a doctor here years ago. He retired. He's like, oh, Dr. So-and-so. I was like, yes. I was like, but a month ago, I saw a female optometrist. 
I've only been here one time this year. This is the first, this is the second time I've been here in years. Years ago, I was here. Then fast forward, I haven't been here in three years. Then a month ago, I came here just one time. Just one time. And I saw a female. I didn't see you. She put me in this. It didn't work out. Then they put me in this. By Cooper Vision, it didn't work out. He was like, that's not what we're showing. I'm like, he's like, well, um, maybe you just don't remember me. I'm like, sir, I've never seen you in my life. So he does something on the computer and he puts his back to me. And I, and I, like, I'm looking, I'm, I kind of glance at what he's doing, but at the same time, I'm like wondering, and I'm putting my damn readers on because I can't see very well. And I'm like, I know. And I'm like looking, I think he did have the wrong person pulled up. So he was like, well, it shows that we ordered whatever this brand is like there. It doesn't, it has the brand, but it doesn't have the name of the contact lens. He's like, well, they were supposed to put you in this brand by, um, and now I'm forgetting, but I have a right to forget because I don't do this every day. He doesn't have that right. I'm sorry. He's like, well, they put you in Cooper vision. I'm like, yeah, that's this one. He's like, no, they put you, they put, put you, put it in, um, sphere or something, whatever brand, but the, like the name of the company is on here, but it doesn't say the, the type like sphere or the 360 version or air optics or whatever. It just has that it's Cooper Vision. I'm like, sir, it's probably this one. He's like, no, they didn't order the right one. I'll just order the right one for you. I'm like, sir, I was like, hold up. I was like, just hear me out for a minute. I was like, you, the, the female optometrist, not you, tried me in this one. It didn't work. Doesn't work. Then they tried me in this brand by Cooper Vision. And what you see on the screen right there, he's like, you know, they've only tried you on two. They haven't tried you on a lot yet. I'm like, you just got through telling me they tried me on all like, six or seven of these and that you've seen me before. So now you're changing your story. So finally, it's like he's finally kicking in that maybe I'm right and you're wrong. I'm like, sir, you're not listening. He didn't want to listen to me. I was like, she ordered. So he goes in the back. He goes, I, I don't know. So he goes in the back and I hear the lady telling him, we never have those in stock. We have to special order them because it's the same one that they special ordered. Why would you order them again? I just told you they're not working out. So I get online, I go on the computer, because he's leaving it open, and go on the line. And let's say the brand name, let's say this is Cooper Vision Sphere 360, right? On the computer. So I Google Cooper Vision 360, and this blue color and the white pops up. So I'm like, they've already ordered this. It's already been ordered, and I tried it, and I don't like it. So why is he ordering again? So... The lady, she's like, I think we already ordered that for the patient. He's like, no, they ordered the wrong one. They ordered some other brand. I don't even know, but they were supposed to order Cooper Vision. So he comes into the thing. He was like, she's arguing with me, like, like upset. And I'm like, sir, I was like, I just Googled what they were supposed to order on Google. And this is what pops up. I was like, so they did order it and it came in and I tried it and it's not working out. So please don't order it again. He's like, let me look at that. That This is Bausch and Lohm. And I'm like, no, this is Bausch and Lohm. This is Cooper Vision. He's like looking all over. He's like, I don't see. I think this is, I was like, it says right there, Cooper Vision. Like you're an optometrist and you don't know this. And then you want to argue with me. So, um, so then he was like, so check this out. So before he came in. The girl said, just try these. And she put them in my, she's like, put them in your eye. So when he came in, he was like, well, what's this box here for? He's like, you want to try this now? And I'm like, they're in my eyes. He goes, then why are you seeing me? I'm like, I don't believe this. I was like, they told me to come in, so I came in. I was like, where is the female optometrist that knows all this? I was like, she started me off on this lens and changed it to this. And now I'm seeing you. And you're getting confused with someone else. I'm like, this is really getting annoying. Like, this is really getting beyond. Like, I'm about ready to, to say, you know what? I'm out of here. Like, this is my health here. So, he was, so do you have these in? I was like, yeah. He's like, so how do they feel? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to tell you that. Like, I let you do the talking first. Was I supposed to interrupt you and say, ah, uh ah, -uh, shut up. I'm going to tell you about these and how they work with my eyes. Like, you start doing the talking. You know, eventually I would have shared that with you, but like, you're the doctor. You did all the talking first. 
So I tell him, I was like, I'm glad you asked. I was like, she put him in my eye before you came. I was like, at first, he's like, mm-hmm, 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 yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, rushing me, and I'm like, no, bitch, you ain't gonna rush me. I waited on you, you're gonna wait for me. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So I told him, I was like, well, they were uncomfortable at first. He's like, so you wanna try another pair? Or another brand? I'm like, no. I was like, I was like, but, I was like, I'm just concerned. I was like, um, are these gonna be paid by my insurance? He's like, what do you mean? You, you're not buying them? And I'm like, how ghetto can you be? I'm like, sir, I was like, the, the optometrist that I just saw about a month ago, she knows the deal. I was like, I have a certain insurance and they only pay for certain brands. I was like, I don't want to waste your time no more than you want to waste mine. And I don't want and you don't want me to waste your time. I was like, it would be a waste of time to put me in a pair of trial contact lenses that work out perfectly for me if I'm not going to buy them because I can't afford them because my insurance only covers certain brands. So I think it would be better that you put me in a brand, another brand, because it's not like my insurance only is for two different kinds. There's a whole list of brands that they pay for, types and brands. Um, and I would imagine that they're the more reasonable price ones. I don't want to say cheap, but, you know, reasonable price. I was like, this may not be on the list. He's like, well, he's like, I, I don't know. He didn't understand. And I explained to him like several times. And he was like, well, what insurance do you have? And I told him the insurance. He goes, I'm not familiar with that. I'm like, well, I'm sure they have a document somewhere that says if this patient has this insurance, these are the contact lenses that they can pay for. Therefore, you like, why do I have to explain this to you? Like, really? So he goes and gets the list and he was like, these are not even on the list. They're not going to pay for these. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I made the mistake. What the hell? You know? So I'm like, well, that kind of sucks because they don't feel too bad. I said, but, you know, and uh, he was like, so then he actually literally, he looked at the list. I kid you not. He looked at the list and said, why don't we try you with these? The bio true by Bausch and Lohm. I'm like, sir, I already tried those. He goes, yeah, you've tried a lot. I'm like, no, I've only tried two. The one you're trying to reorder again and the first one, only two. That's not a lot. They're both not working out. So why can't you just order one from the list that's not one of these two? Don't order this and don't order this again. I've tried both. And don't put in the system for this because my interest won't pay for it. It's not that hard. It's really not. So, um, so right away I was like, is it okay if I look at the list? And I was like, because maybe I can, because I don't want them to put me in a brand that I've tried years ago. And I'm like, I remember that brand. It sucks. Why waste my time and your time? And so um, he was like, would you rather have dailies, weeklies, or monthlies? I'm like, well, the original optometrist that I saw, which is not him, recommended that I do disposable ones. Um, I was like, he's like, so you want the disposable ones? I'm like, well, I don't want them. I was like, that's what she recommended. I was like, you know, like if we try all the disposable ones and that's the only one that's left. And he's just like, again, I feel like I'm being rushed. And so, um, so he's like, well, do you see one on the list that, that looks good? I'm like, one on the list that looks good. Like, we're not, I'm not picking out an outfit of, to, uh, of matching the colors. Like, that color looks nice on me. Like, how am I supposed to know, out of all these brands, what looks good? Like, you're the optometrist. If I tell you I'm having problems with these two brands, you should know the material that these two are made out of, and you should automatically pick a material that is totally different than these two. You shouldn't pick the same material. Why? Because I'll probably have an issue with them. And you definitely don't want to pick the same material from the same company. So if this is, let's say, I'm just giving an example, okay? Let's say this is Teflon from Bausch & Lohm. You don't want to put me in another Bausch & Lohm Teflon lens because probably the same brand and the same, it's probably going to have another issue. So I explained it to him. I was like, well, let me show you the contact lenses that I used to wear, and they were online, and they worked out really good. So he's, I never heard of that one. Right away, he's like, I never heard of that one. I was like, so I'm just trying to help you. It says the name of the material. If I can get the exact material or something comparable to this contact lens that I wore years ago that you can only buy online, 
that they can, can't get me a trial for, okay, I was like, then maybe I'll get out of your hair and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll be good with them. He's like, well, which one on the list is... I'm like, you're asking me what brand. You're the optometrist. You're giving me a list of all these different brands and you're telling me to pick the one that has the same material. How am I supposed to know that? It's very possible that optometrists don't know that, but they probably should. But how the hell am I supposed to know that? If I asked you what brand of car uses polyurethane B77 and not polyurethane 77669 in the plastic, and you're going to be like, I don't know. Like, how am I supposed to know that? It's not like I've tried every contact lens on the planet, because I haven't. I've tried two. And the ones in the past. And they're constantly changing their names, by the way. Not constantly, but like I used to buy Bachelor Medalist. They don't even make those anymore. So I'm like, I, I don't know. I was like, since my eyes are dry, I was like, maybe the moist one. He's like, okay, let's go with the moist one. I'm like, but you realize that's probably a marketing ploy. Excuse me? I'm like, a marketing ploy as in they're just trying to sell you the lens? He's like, yeah, but it says moist, so that'll probably work out for you. Because you have dry eyes. I'm like, I don't believe this. Just because it says moist, like, that's a marketing ploy. That's to get you to try it. Like, why isn't he looking at these two lenses and making a determination, well, the patients in my past that couldn't wear this one liked this one. Or the patients in the past that couldn't wear these two also couldn't wear this one, this one, and this one. And when I tried them with these other two, they were good. Like, this is like doctors with medicine. Like, this is, this is what I would do as a doctor or an optometrist, wouldn't you? Because that makes sense. He's just letting me pick from a list. And guess what? As usual, they don't have them in stock. And it might take weeks to get in. So, um, other stuff was said. Nothing bad. Like, I didn't yell at him. He didn't yell at me. Nothing like that. But, um... I just, when I left there, I, I told that girl, I was like, I was like, can I talk to you? She's like, what is it? I was like, when I come back to get these other lenses, if these other lenses don't work out, the moist ones, I was like, can you please make sure that I don't see him again? I was like, I didn't see him before and he thought I did and he swore up and down. I was like, I didn't think he had the right record pulled up, pulled up. Um, because he claimed that I tried on several, like five or six, seven or more. I think at least there was seven on that list. I was like, I've only tried two and I've never seen them before. So she looks up in the system. She goes, you know, you've never seen them before. I'm like, is not that what I just said? She goes, you've only been here one time this year and you saw Mrs. So-and-so about a month ago. I'm like, she goes, you've only tried two. That's what I'm trying to explain to everyone here. She was like, and they already ordered. I was like, this one? She goes, yeah. He was just talking to the other girl. He tried to order these again for you. I'm like, that's the problem I'm having, ma'am. Do you see why I'm upset? She's like, yeah, well, um, he says to stand by. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, when the real doctor's not here. I, well, I don't mean the real doctor. I mean the other optometrist. I'm like, what do you mean real? Op real? She didn't say real. Do I don't know if she said real optometrist or real doctor, but something along those lines. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, he works out of some other clinic. She goes, I, I don't know. Like, she tried to cover it up. And I'm thinking, is he, is he even an optometrist? Like, who is this person I just saw? Like, he dresses cool, but like, really? So, I mean, can you imagine? Like, well, I'm, like, what is the most important organ that you want to keep? Your eyesight. Like, your eyesight, in, me, in my opinion, is better than your taste buds, your hands, your ears. Like, your vision is so important. What would be the last thing? You would have your arm cut off, your ears cut off, your hand cut off. Your vision is the last, like, that's the most important thing of your five senses is, in my opinion, is your vision. And I just saw a doctor or an optometrist that I don't, I'm questioning is not even real or not. So, um, I forgot what I told her, but I was like, she's put in the system. She's like, yeah, it's well documented that the next time if you, if you do come back and get, you know, whatever, she's like, 
And uh, she goes, well, why did they even put you with him? Like, why are you... Is that a rhetorical question? Please tell me that's a rhetorical question. Because how am I supposed to answer that? But she asked it in a way that was kind of rhetorical, but at the same time, it kind of wasn't. So I'm like, does she actually want me to answer this shit? Please tell me this is a rhetorical question. Because if it's not, you got a lot of audacity to ask me a stupid question like that. I don't work here. I, I just told her, I was like, ma'am, I was like, I wasn't in a hurry to see the doctor. I need to calm down. My chest hurts. My chest is hurting really bad. All right, um, I just took my blood pressure medicine. No, I didn't check it. I could lie and say it was off the Richter scale a bit. My chest was hurting me earlier when I was in the grocery store. Why does all this keep happening to me? I've said it before on this channel. I truly believe life, either life doesn't want me in it or there's something in life, a curse, an entity, a power that wants to see me fail, has tried to make me fail, doesn't want me to get back up, doesn't want me to try, and basically doesn't want me alive. Or I'm just cursed. Or both. Whatever. Something along those lines. For me to say that things never go my way would be a flat out lie. But how often do they go my way? And why is it always me that runs into these problems? Like, I'm not exaggerating. The story that I told you with the autometrist, like, if anything, I'm under telling you what's going on. And I need to, like, take you on a little trip around the house. I need to sit down. Maybe I should check my, um, my blood pressure. You want to check it with me? You know what? I'm just going to lay down. Or sit down. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to lay down. And lay down. Welcome to my, oh my God, my bedroom. Well, I am so conservative that I turn off vents in rooms that I don't use until I go into the room. constricted about a year ago I felt this constriction and my significant other took me to the hospital ER place and my blood pressure was so high that the doctor thought that the machine was it's malfunctioning I just bought a whole bunch of food for the channel and it's so high in sodium. And I sit there and look at their products thinking, why am I buying this for this channel? I don't even make any money on this channel. For those haters out there, well, I don't think any haters would last this long. 
let's just check my blood pressure. Why not? Whoever is watching this, you stayed this long, so why not? Change of, um, whoa, do I feel horrible. Oh my god. That, and I'm on so much medication. I would show you all the bottles I'm on, but I don't, I don't want you to know my first and last name. I'll put you right here. I'm going to check my blood pressure. I don't know if it's going to reverse it because it's a selfie, so it might have the numbers in reverse. But I'll tell you what they are. Of course, I'm probably supposed to sit here for a couple minutes and calm down, but... Can you see it? And I did just take my blood pressure medicine, so... 128 over 89. And my pulse is 101. I don't even, I don't, I mean, it says high, but I don't know how high that is. You'd think I would know. I don't use this machine as often as I should. Hey Google, blood pressure 128 over 89. On the website djj.state.fl.us, they say, doctors classify blood pressures under 140 90ths of a millimeter of mercury as either normal or prehypertension. Normal blood pressure is lower than 120 80ths of a millimeter of mercury. For the bottom number, for example, blood pressure readings of 138 80 seconds, 128 80 ninths, or 138 80 sixths are all in the prehypertension range. Someone leave a comment that's lasted this long. Is that like, I don't think it's that bad. I think it was 256 or something a long time ago when I went, but I don't remember. Or 180 when I had went to that emergency room. But that's, So much I want to share with this channel. I'm gonna say now this contact lens is bothering me, but it's okay because they gave me the wrong one. They had remember I told you they had to order the one that my. I'm gonna go now. Maybe we should start doing food reviews. I do more complaining on this channel than anything, but than being myself. It's like maybe we get long enough. Maybe when the med medicine kicks in the right way and my my life could be this Look at my old videos. I wasn't that depressed. But I wasn't going through what I'm going through with right now. And I'm not talking about the optometrist. I'm talking about the other stuff that I've been sharing on this channel now for over a month. I'm gonna go lay back down. Thanks for watching and staying with me.